What's up, everybody? Dre Baldwin, DreAllDay.com. This week's Q&A. This is Q&A number 92. We do this every week here on this YouTube channel. I didn't do it on Periscope this week. I just did it regular video that y'all gonna see here on YouTube. Now, we making some changes to the Q&A. Because I think I've been doing it. I've been doing the Q&A every week, almost 100 weeks straight. So what we're going to do starting right now with the Q&A is I'm not going to do it every week like this where I'm just reading questions out of the comments. This is how it's going to work. You're still going to leave your questions in the comments. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify a good question out of the comments and I'm going to make a video addressing that particular question. So it's kind of like the what should I do series, but it doesn't have to be a what should I do. It can just be a regular question. I'm going to take that question and I'm going to make a full video addressing that question and we just going to keep it going that way. So it's still going to be the Q&A, but not the same way. I'm going to address one question at a time. So it has to be a good enough question that it's something I can make a video about, not something that I could just answer in two seconds. That's not a good enough question for me to make a video about. Y'all understand? So give me a well thought out question. Doesn't have to be a long question. Doesn't have to be a paragraph's worth of information. Because usually all that information is not even useful for me to answer the question. The question usually boils down to a couple simple points. So give me a good, well thought out question, something that's gonna make me think and dig deep to give you a good answer that I'll make a full video out of that. And that's how we'll continue the Q and A. So it's not gonna be every Saturday morning it's not going to be me just running through the comments anymore because I feel like we've done this so many times. I've answered a lot of you guys' questions. So I'm going to answer the good ones, isolate those, and make videos about those individually moving forward. But for this Q&A, I am going to address the questions in the comments from last week's Q&A. Everybody understand that? I think I explained that well, if I may say so myself. So the first question is coming from Dino. He says, good to see you keep these vids still coming out. Keep it up. Well, thank you, Dino. I'm glad that you're still watching. So we're going to keep it going. We're going to the number that I'm going to go to. Y'all won't even imagine. Next question is Prince. He says, are you going to play any any leagues in the near future? Also, what are marketing in your business? Actually, I don't understand what that second part means. Am I going to play any leagues in the near future? We'll see. We'll see if somebody makes me an offer. We'll see <laughs> what kind of offers come in, if any, and we'll see what happens from there. Jabbar says, all right, this is an important question is what Jabbar says. So let's find out. He lives in Philadelphia. He's going to play in some leagues. He wants to get a D1 scholarship and play in college. But he's in ninth grade. He needs a cameraman to record his games, but he can't find one. So how can he make a highlight video? He says, what should he do to show his highlights if I don't know any cameraman who can record while I'm playing? Well, Jabbar, any person can be a cameraman. Everybody in the world who's in your environment right now, I think everybody knows how to operate a smartphone, which all have cameras, and those are high-quality cameras. For instance, this video that you're watching right now is recorded on a smartphone, which is an HD camera. There's no better camera than an HD camera. So everybody knows how to operate it. So to say that you can't find a cameraman makes no sense. I think you're just not thinking creatively enough because the person sitting to your left and your right right now, both are cameramen. The last person you spoke to can be a cameraman. The next person you speak to can be a cameraman. Open up your phone. Look at the last five people you talked to in your call log. All those people can be cameramen because they all know how to operate a phone. So they all can be your cameraman. All you need to do is ask people to be your cameraman. Make them a creative offer. Maybe offer them some money. Maybe offer to do something in exchange for them, barter your skills. If you're good at something, offer that you could do that for them while they do the camera thing for you. Give them $5, whatever you got to do to get them to film you. It all matters. What really boils down to, Jabbar, is how bad do you want that video? Is it Which one is stronger? Your excuse that you can't find a cameraman, which I just shot down that excuse because it makes no sense whatsoever because everybody's a cameraman potentially. Or is it your need to get the film? If you really need the film, now you got the information. So by the time you watch this video, actually, let's say within 72 hours of watching this video, you should have a list of 100 potential cameramen. And if you ask all 100 of them, one of them is going to say yes. That's a guarantee. If you don't ask 100 of them and you don't get a cameraman, now it's 100% your fault. Next, Basketball Genius says, you're as smart as hell. Thanks for your advice. Well, I appreciate the compliment. You know, I went to school, but that's not where I got it from. Got it from reading books. Next is Sadiq. He says, Dre... The guy who he had some advice with somebody I was talking about in the previous Q&A, which I don't even remember, so we're not even going to address that. But I don't think that guy's going to see that comment, Sadiq, but I appreciate you offering. Mike says, I have tryouts next month. I'm positive I'll make it, but should I not focus on anyone else but do me? Well, if you're positive you should make it, then you should just focus on whatever made you positive that you should make it. So whatever that happens to be, focus on that. You just said you're positive you're going to make it, but now you're asking me another question. Do whatever it is that got you feeling positive. Keep thinking that way every single day for the next month till tryouts. And then just think that way for the rest of your life. And that'll help you a lot. Next question is Chris. He says, how can a bad or average mindset to a successful can do it? I'm the best mindset. I have confidence. All right. So this question is not grammatically making any sense. So we're going to try to figure it out. All right. Chris says, 
how can someone with an average mindset go to a successful mindset? I'm going to kind of paraphrase his, his jumbled English here. He says, I had the best mindset and confidence. Oh, how can I have the best mindset and confidence? Because my confidence is low. I want to change, hopefully get a D1 scholarship or go play pro basketball when I get good. All right, well, the first thing you need to do is watch some of my videos, Chris, because I explain all this stuff in detail. Hopefully you are you know how to speak English. You can comprehend it because your writing does not convey that you do. But all my videos are in English, so hopefully you understand English so that you can watch my videos and understand. Obviously, you understand something because you're here in the Q&A. You know where to post the comments. So what you need to do is watch my videos on a mo weekly motivation playlist. I got over 300 videos talking about and motivation is all about the mental side of the game, the mindset, pregame preparation, preparation, how to get yourself in the right frame of mind to perform at your highest level, how to play at your highest level, how to play as well as you practice. I talk about all this stuff, so it's all here on video. All you got to do is go through my videos, personal development playlist, the motivation playlist, and all that stuff is covered. Next question. Nathaniel says, what's the quickest way I can get in good, quote unquote, basketball shape? And this is his words. How can he get in good basketball shape? But the quickest way, Nathaniel, is first of all, identify what you mean by good basketball shape. Because I can't tell you what good shape means to you. Good shape to me might be different from good shape from you and diff different from good shape from somebody else. So you got to identify what good shape means. And then once you know what that is, then you can probably come back to me with a better question so I can tell you specifically about those things. Because you don't, you probably don't even know what that means yet, and that's why you called it good. Be more specific if you want a specific answer. Next is Antoine says, I've been reading your book, Buy a Game, and I said I got patella tendonitis when I was in college. Yes, I did say that in my book, Buy a Game. You can read that on my website, dreallday.com slash L-I-S-T for list. dreallday.com slash list. You can read my first book completely for free. And then he says, after it went away, did I ever get it again? No, I did not. Next question, Amir says, I was the guy who asked about the elbow flaring out, and he says, thanks for giving me a real answer. And, you know, I called him out for making an excuse about not being able to, so here's the guy with the elbow question. He's right here in the next Q&A. He says, I got rid of this mental block. I figured out the solution to my problem. Thanks for not sugarcoating anything. Keep up the great work. Well, Amir, that's exactly what I do, so I'm glad that came across you, and congratulations to you for finding a solution, empowering yourself, because that's what I do here. I don't tell people what to do. I empower you to figure out what to do because most of you already know what to do. You just got a mental block getting in the way of you doing it. Next is Jamari says, how do I not be pressured for basketball tryouts? You just don't be pressured. People always asking me is how do I not do things? If you're thinking about not doing something, all you're telling your subconscious mind is to actually do it. So if you're thinking about not messing up, you're telling your subconscious mind mess up. Subconscious mind is literal. So it takes every word that you say and it translates that into what meaning that must be what you want. So when you say, how do I not trip up the steps? All your subconscious mind gets is trip up the steps. But if you say, how do I walk swiftly up the steps? Then your subconscious mind says, walk swiftly up the steps. So don't try to not do the negative. Try to accentuate the positive. So just reword that question and you'll have a much better answer. You'll be feeding your subconscious mind much better nourishment and you'll get better results. Next question. Last question from Brendan says, how long did it take for you to develop your jump shot. There is no time to develop a jump shot. Understand, once you get good at shooting a basketball, let's say I got, let's say it took me three years to get good at shooting a jump shot. That's not the answer, but let's just say that it did. It took me three years to develop a jump shot, and then I say, you know what, I got a jump shot. And then I just stopped practicing. I didn't practice my jump shot again for a month. But I have a good jump shot after that month. No, I would not because I stopped working on it. So there is no point when you can stop working on something. Once you develop a skill of doing something, you got to keep doing it to maintain the skill. So hopefully people can stop asking me how long does it take to get good at something. Forever. As long as you plan on displaying that skill that you want to be good at, is forever. There is no end to it. You will never have to stop working on it. So however long it takes, you have to keep it, keep working on it in order to keep having it. Because if you stop working on it, you won't have it anymore. So if it took you three years, then you stop working on it, and now you lost a jump shot. Is anybody going to care that it took you three years? No. All they're going to care about is what you could do right now on the spot. So you will always be working on it. There is no end to it. There is no time date. Do you got somewhere to be? Are you in a rush to be somewhere that you need to know how long it's going to take? It's going to take as long as it takes. Just keep working until you get what you want. That's it, everybody, for the q and It was quick this week. But again, we're doing the Q&A the way that I said. I'm taking the best question. I'm going to make a separate Q&A video just addressing that particular question, if it's a good question. If y'all don't come with no good questions, then I guess the Q&A will die there. But hopefully, y'all going to come with something good. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you follow all my top content up here. Follow me on all your favorite social networks right over here. And make sure you are subscribed to catch all the new content I put on on this channel every single day.